Hello everybody, it's Lisa. I'm absolutely thrilled to be back to give you a run through of a loaded envelope that I made for my one of my daughter's pen pals uh, who lives somewhere in Europe, I'm not sure where. Um, but I'd seen these loaded envelopes on YouTube and I thought they were absolutely gorgeous and I was desperate to try one. So I asked my daughter if she would like me to make one for one of our pen friends. Um, the only problem we're going to have is it's quite big and it's quite chunky. So I don't think um, I've stuck within the required measurements for sending the package abroad. But never mind, she'll just have to take some bits out and try and pack it as flat as possible. Uh, so for the envelope, i just going to get, um, this is my <laughs> instructions, I made up the pattern for the envelope myself and I just used a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, ignore this, uh, and my scoreboard and made a little template with um, these uh, hinge bits in the side and then what you do is you fold it over and stick it down and you, at either side and you've got a pocket here, a pocket here and one up here and then you just use some score tape to hold this together. Anything that I make I always make a little template not sure you're going to be able to understand this but I'll put this in front of the camera and you can take a screenshot of it and this is just a little reminder for me of all the different things that I put in it so that I can recreate it at a later date so I always do that every time I make up a project The actual envelope itself is quite plain, just decorated a little bit at the back and put a little bit of pom-pom trim along the bottom here and at, at the top I made a little paint pinwheel. I found a tutorial for that on YouTube and I'm so sorry I can't remember it was somebody who makes lots of different projects with duct tape and uh, it was a brilliant tutorial. So that's the little pin wheel and a little wand. It's the first time I've ever made a rosette and I decorated it with some corker ribbon and some lace. Just uh, had the bit at the back. Uh, these were actually candy pop sticks which I I've had for a long time so I thought they would be really good. I did find some paper straws but I couldn't get ones that matched exactly so that's why I'd stuck to the white. In the back section I've put in a journaling card a giant tag which I decorated myself and this was dyes uh, well it's actually a punch a stamping up punch with balloons and I've got the matching stamp set so I really like that large tag and you could use it to write a message on for journaling or for uh, instead of sending a card you could send this to somebody I've made a card and a matching envelope. The envelope was made using the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board and this is some of my Stampin' Up! dies. So I thought that was really nice. I kept the cards very simple. I made a little tag just to attach onto the envelope so my daughter can write a message on it and I put one of these little glitter balls on 
and this is a little pack of butterflies they're lace butterflies it was a pack of four i got from a local craft store and i wish i'd bought more packets and um, because they might not have them next time i go back and i tried various things but actually the best thing for it to attach it to seem to be a uh, one of the little a uh, crocodile clips that i use for making hair bows and you can use them for stationery and i lined it so that it wouldn't catch the paper and i stuck it to the other side the kind of flat a uh, straight side i really like that and i've made a tag here which i really really like uh, from a uh, chipboard so it's quite thick and stamped the back and went round it with Tim Holtz distressing ink used some eyelash wool it's actually not eyelash trim it was a ball of eyelash wool I got a couple of years ago and I'm, I've still got loads left it's brilliant and I put some trim around there and these I think are some prima flowers and I've used um, some mixed media uh, round here and put a little corner on and I decorated a little clothes peg to hold this on and this is just uh, you can put some goodies in here I uh, used another one of the bow clips um, to make this little, I suppose it's really a kind of fancy paper clip and just put a die cut on the back and some of the pink uh, baby fake fur and made a little uh, ribbon flower and this is just a die cut that I used to decorate it Uh, this is a die cut I got recently and I decorated it. I got some inspiration from a lady on YouTube who had done something similar in her loaded envelope and I watched so many videos I couldn't even see who she was but um, it was a great idea so I put this in as well. A smaller tag which is uh, more or less the same as the large one. And I just clustered uh, some li little uh, banners here and some lace. Put some balloons on and this is just matching twine from Stampin' Up! Which matches the ink set and the card that was used. I think it might be Watermelon Wonder. I decorated a little paper clip with a rosette and uh, put a little button in the centre and a little journaling tag and I lined that with the Watermelon Wonder card and stamped a nice message on the back. Made some little mini tags. I just thought these were fun. This was a Stampin' Up! set. I think it's called Jar of Love. And you get matching dies and uh, stamps. Made a little matching card. Just kept it quite plain. Put some eyelash trim around there which gives it a nice finish. And made a little matching envelope. And I made a little glassine type envelope from a uh, vellum that I had and made a shaker. You can't really have a loaded envelope without a shaker and this is uh, the Stampin' Up! Jar of Love set uh, with the little fishes uh, comes from that set and that's the die cut of the jar and um, just use the foam strips from Stampin' Up! to make the shaker card and went over it with this anti-static pad on the inside and out just to take the stickiness away and that's really nice so that is the loaded envelope I enjoyed making it so much that I actually ended up making one for my daughter for her birthday 
and she really liked it. She's got a lot of pen pals, she sends a lot of letters, so I thought that she could use all the different elements in it to send to her friends. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I'm trying so hard to build up my channel subscribers and do more videos. So thank you very much and I'll see you again soon. Cheerio!